Now we're going to talk about the faults and fixes of the lob. Number one fault of a lob is we don't use it. We really need to utilize the lob. It can be quite the, quite the shot to use to win a lot of points. Too often though we lob and we get tight and we, we hit that lob really short and then we get blasted. Very important to, when you're lobbing. Number one, try to aim for the backhand corner. If you hit your lob to the backhand corner, it's normally going to be a backhand overhead if they get to it, which is not going to be as strong as a forehand overhead. Drive your opponent's nuts going to their backhand side. So if you're in trouble, throw a lob up. It's very easy. Just open the racket face up, throw the ball up into the air. You'll be amazed if you throw the ball nice and high up into the air how easy it is to hit it down into the court. It'll come down most of the time. So very important, just throw it up into the air. Throw it to their backhand side though. Keep it away from the forehand side. Throw it to a backhand side. So if you're in trouble, learn to hit to the backhand side. Offense or defense, it'll make a great amount of, uh, it'll re really help you tremendously. Go to the backhand side. Okay, let me show you real quick a couple proper lobs. So you get going here, just throw that ball up into the air. Just under it, throw that ball up, right to the back corner. Throw that ball up. It's very easy, throw it up. But get it over that backhand side. Just get enough air under it that it'll stay in. You'd be amazed how many of those balls will stay in if you just throw them up. If you're really in trouble, you can throw it real high and it'll still stay in. So as you can see, it's very important just to open that racket face up, maybe 25 degrees, maybe a little bit more. It's up to you on how high you want to hit the lob. If you're hitting the ball out all the time, it's normally caused because you're throwing your lob up and your racket face isn't open enough. You've got to make sure that racket face is open enough to keep the ball up in the air, not driving out and long. So on a defensive lob, just open the racket face up a little bit more. If you're dropping your ball short, it's not normally caused because you're just a little too tight. Realize there's plenty of court to hit to. If you just relax and open it up, get it up into the air, and give yourself plenty of time to get back into the point. That's what a defensive lob is all about. Defensive lob is, is in there to get you back into the point. Once they get you on the run or get you pulled off, a court, off the court, Throw the lob up, gives you time to get back in position to hit the next shot. Then you can get back on your offensive, on your offensive shots, get back on your front foot and attacking the ball. But throw that ball up. Just make sure that racket face is open, throw it up into the air. Too long, open it up a little more. Too short, relax and let it go. Now we're going to talk about the offensive lob or the topspin lob. This is a shot that's very important to learn because this is a shot that can actually win points. Once it gets over the opponent's head, once it, it hits, it's going to accelerate and take off away from them. If you get past them, they're never going to catch up to it, an offensive topspin lob. What happens too often in an offensive topspin lob is we don't change the angle we're hitting up the ball and we don't continue to move forward. We try to hit our offensive lob falling away and we try to drive it long and it normally goes out. If we learn to go forward and drive the angle rather than a driving topspin which goes directly through, a little more loopy topspins, a little bit higher topspin lob, it's just a different angle up the ball. But just by changing the angle, we'll keep that ball in. But the motion is still forward and up the back of the ball to keep the topspin lob in. You're still going to be aiming the same direction as your defensive lob to the backhand side so that if you don't hit if you do hit a little bit shorter you still won't be in, in a bad position because they'll still have to hit a, a backhand overhead so you still should be able to get a hold of that but hit that topspin lob moving forward but change the angle up the back of the ball if you find you're not able to get it over your opponent or keep it down into the court you've got to learn to move forward into your topspin lobs I hit a couple and I'll just show you how it, how it looks you're here Top spin lob right up over their head, but the angle is, is a little bit higher to get it up over their head. Change the angle and move forward. You'll become, you trust this shot and if it becomes good shot, you'll love hitting it. And it'll drive your opponents nuts. 
Once we move over to the backhand side, everything stays the same. You just open the racket face up for the defensive lob, throw it back over the backhand side still, which gives you a little bit longer to hit because you're going over the longest part of the court, lowest part of the net. So you're going to a longer part from the backhand side. Just remember that when you're judging the distance that you want to hit. But as far as hitting your, your defensive backhand lob, it's just opening the racket face up, throw it up into the air. Once you know that you can hit a defensive lob, you can hit it all day without any type of stress at all. Throw it up in the air, give yourself some time to get back in the, in the point. Go ahead and hit a couple. So here, just throw it up to the backhand side. Throw it up to the backhand side. Very easy shot, just nice and relaxed. Here, it's nice and relaxed. Ball's going short, same thing. Relax and throw some air under it. Balls are going long. Change the angle a little bit more. Open that racket face up a little more. That'll keep the ball deeper. It'll be to the back of the court, but open it up. That'll keep the ball deep, but still in.